All right, back to exit corners. Chapter 19, plus two. Yeah, yeah, we'll skip. Is he dead? No, of course not. I can see him breathing from here. Two bodies had been left, dumped, really, in the Four Elements main hall. Ink's contact, Sean, was one of them. Beth was already at their side, checking the woman's pulse. And how's she doing? She's alive, whoever she is. I can't seem to get her to wake up. I think she's been sedated. So this is what Sen's been doing while you're we locked up in there. You know, I'm actually sort of relieved. At least Sean's alive, right? So that's your contact, huh? That's him, alright. Don't know who the girl is, though. I do. That's my contact. Her name's Tiana. Is she your, um, sister? Does she look like my sister? I... Uh, she's my ex. There. No hiding it at this point. Ray shook his head. And here I thought today couldn't get any worse. A stifling silence filled the room. Ink found himself staring at the floor. Why bring Sean into the fold this late in the game? Why bring him in at all? Tiana's here too. What are you up to, Scent? The silence was broken by a dull groaning. Uh, Sh Sean? Sean's eyes heaved themselves open. Ink helped his friend to his feet. Ink? That you, bud? That's right. Hang in there, man. Ugh, I'm friggin' sore everywhere. Jaw's all swollen. Yeah, you don't look so hot. Here, we'll get you something to drink. Aether was on it in a flash, pouring a tall glass of water and bringing it to Sean. He ripped it from her hands and downed it all in one go. Ah, <sighs> thanks, gorgeous. I'm feeling better already. Um, no problem. Glad you're okay. Sean put a hand on his back and stretched. His smile vanished as he had a look around the hall. You know, Ink, this place looks vaguely hotel-ish. That's cause it is. Welcome to Exit Corners. Well... Shit. Sean's gaze veered downwards. He jumped slightly upon seeing the woman at his feet. Whoa, who's that? Her name's Tiana. She got thrown in here with you. Yikes. No one's safe, huh? Do you remember anything about how you got here? I told you I was being followed, right? Yeah, and then you stopped messaging me. Who was following you exactly? Red-headed fellow in a cap. I couldn't see his face, but it was definitely a dude. Young guy, I think. Honestly, he didn't look out of place on campus. Except he was definitely following me. I wandered around campus for a while trying to shake him. Eventually, I was just flat out running away from the dude. He wasn't running after me or anything, so I thought I was safe. But then I turned a corner in the engineering building and bumped right into the guy. Guy must be able to teleport or something. He scared the shit out of me. And then what? He grabbed me. And then I woke up here. Sorry, that's all I got. Yeah, that's more evidence towards this being a simulation. A larger simulation than I thought it was, but... Teleporting's definitely a thing that programs can do. That's it? Damn. So I guess I've been kidnapped? Seems a little... Ugh! Ow! The fuck? With a cough and a hack, Sean's nose and mouth were suddenly erupting blood. I'm bleeding over here. Medic! Medic! Hold still. I can't help you if you're flailing all over the place. Uh, right. Okay, what do I do? Stand upright, pull your head back a bit, and keep putting pressure on it. It shouldn't last more than two minutes. Sean did just that. He grew quiet. Looks like Sean's got the exit corners bug. Please don't call it that. I've given up on trying to figure out what it is. We'll just need to tough it out until we escape. Hopefully Sean's episode is the last. Well, it's not. 
All eyes were on Tiana. Her hands were glazed with a red mucus. It wasn't blood, exactly, but there was certainly blood in it. Can I get a tissue or something? Without skipping a beat, Beth was at the ready with a chiffon that must have been from one of the bed one of the bedrooms. Here, keep your head back and apply a little pressure. Sure. Do you know where you are, Tiana? Can the questions wait until I'm not hemorrhaging, maybe? I know this isn't the best time to ask, but time isn't something we have a lot of right now. I need to know what you know. All I know right now is that it feels like my brains are leaking out of my nose. I don't know where I am, I don't know you, and I don't know how you know my name. He knows your name because of me. You don't have to yell at him. Tiana gasped. R Ray? My god, what happened to you? The contestants collectively looked down at Ray's bloody stump. What the hell is going on? First you send me messages on that stupid thing, then I wake up who knows where having contracted who knows what, and here you are, looming over me with a missing arm. If you're looking for an explanation, I ain't got one. Nobody does. Bullshit! You did this! Why would I cut my own fucking arm off? I don't know. You've done stupider things. I'm not gonna waste my energy talking to you. Fine by me. Ray kicked a chair over as he broke their encirclement. A panicked Aether ran after him. So would someone else mind explaining what's going on here? Anyone? I'll fill you in. You're going to get the abridged version, but it'll have to do. Okay, first things first. Where am I? The Four Elements Hotel. Or rather, a building designed to resemble the Four Elements. The original hotel was demolished 20 years ago. Or something. How does that make any sense? This might take longer than I thought. Come on, let's have a seat. I'm Lisa, by the way. Sure, and I'm Tiana, but I guess you all knew that already. The two of them sat down at one of the nearby tables. Ink thought about helping Lisa explain exit corners to Tiana, but figured she had it covered. Sean looked like he had something to say anyway. Something on your mind? She's a cutie, that one. Huh? You mean Lisa? Yeah, huh. She hasn't said a whole lot, but I can tell she's a real firecracker. Mm-hmm. You're kind of a creep sometimes. You know that? Give me a break, my guy. I'm just trying to make the best of my situation here. If life gives you lemons, make out with a lemon. That's what I say. You realize she's the rich girl I mentioned, right? Not a day ago, you told me you hated rich girls. You never told me she was a redhead. I make exceptions, man. I'm like the king of exceptions. And you know how much I like redheads. She's barely legal. Close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. You're the worst. Ink shook his head in an attempt to hide his smile. Even now, Sean had a way of making him laugh. Ink didn't even find him funny, per se, but his openness had often made Ink feel at ease. Excuse me. Whoa, don't scare me like that. You didn't, uh, hear any of that, right? You're in pretty high spirits for someone who's just been abducted. Sean's always been like this. It's hard to get the guy down. Anyway, those girls are going over our situation right now. Don't you think you should be listening in, Sean? Nah, I think I'm good. He gave me the skinny by a Gemini. I guess more stuff's happened since then, like tough guy over there getting maimed. I figure Ink will fill me in on anything else I need to know. Do you still have it? Your Gemini, that is. Nada. Looks like it was confiscated. Say, I don't think I caught your name. I'm Beth. Good to meet you. Same. Oh, and thanks for your help with the whole bleeding shenanigans. I thought I was dying back there. You do realize that all I did was tell you to cock your head back, right? Well, hey, it worked. Thanks, Doc. I'm not a doctor, dear. Just your average RN. But you're welcome. Don't sell yourself short. You're a miracle worker in my book. Besides, anything even sort of related to medicine is way beyond me. I had to settle for engineering like a dumbass. An engineer, a nurse, and an English major walk into a hotel. Engineer says, Man, I'm handsome. Nurse says, We all contracted some horrible disease. And the English major says, Would you like fries with that? Ouch. <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. You know I'm just teasing, Ink. We didn't come to get... We didn't come get these guys to joke around, Aether. Right, sorry. What's up, you guys? 
Ray and I had a look at the timer. We have very little time left. How little is very little? Less than four and a half hours. I hadn't realized just how much time had passed after Ray's, um, accident. I swear I'd only closed my eyes for a second. Shitsky. We should probably get on with the game then, huh? Let's go round up Lisa and Tiana. We're getting ready to leave. You almost done with your explanation, Lisa? Yeah, I was just wrapping up. Do you have any more questions? Tons, but there'd be no point in asking. It's all so hard to wrap my head around. I know it's a lot to take in at once. Hell, I still haven't even fully come to terms with everything that's happened today. Hearing it from Ink was one thing, but seeing this place firsthand is something else. I had no idea this was all was going on. Ray didn't mention a thing. Do you remember anything about your abduction, Tiana? As a matter of fact, I do. I was just reading in my apartment when I heard the window shatter. Someone tossed some sort of canister through my smashed window and it started spewing smoke everywhere. Before I knew it, the whole room was covered in a white fog. I started to get drowsy then. Did the canister make a hissing noise? Yeah, actually, it did. I see. Be good to go, then? Yeah, ready when you are. We're ready as well. The gang's all here. So which door was next, then? That's, uh, a good question. Let's see. I can answer that. An extra special hello to our two new contestants. I am overjoyed to see that everyone's been acquainted. Ah, you must be that synth guy. Indeed I am. How do you do, Sean? I'll be honest with you, pal. I'm not happy. The mere fact that I'm here is, you know, definitely a bad thing. Ah, well, perhaps. Perhaps not. I'm sick of listening to you speak. Just tell how Twist Door is next. Yes, of course. Please hold on one moment. As you may or may not know, due to your unorthodox methods of play, I've had to make some adjustments to exit corners. The first, of course, is the addition of Sean and Tiana. They were your contacts once, but they have graduated to full-time contestants. The second major adjustment is that both of the remaining doors will open simultaneously. After you solved an initiation puzzle, that is. Did any of you bother to check how much time you have remaining? I did. We have four hours left. Four hours and 19 minutes, to be exact. How are we supposed to finish this game in four hours? Procuring our new contestants took quite a bit of time, unfortunately. In light of this setback, I've opened both the blue and black doors so that they may be completed simultaneously. For simplicity's sake, I'll just get this out of the way now. The blue door is more challenging than the black door. Are you suggesting we split up? I'm not suggesting anything. You want us to split up? I want you to play Exit Corners. Nothing more. If we do split up, who goes through which door? You may decide that amongst yourselves. The initiation puzzle will be available momentarily. Don't spend too long arguing who goes where now. Or you could die. The monitor grew dim, but Ink knew Scent was still watching. It wasn't long before the aforementioned puzzle d popped up on screen. Sean? Tiana? What's up? This is one of the puzzles we mentioned. Scent likes to put these up and have us solve them before we can continue. They usually have some kind of trick to them. Let's solve this one together and you'll see what I mean. I don't have a choice in this, do I? Ah, oh, come on. Sounds like fun. <laughs> Fill the hole in my heart. Do, 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 do.
I forgot what this did. Okay. Um, but did you do? Switch these two. Switch these two. Da -da 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 -da. Alright, well, that's the typical solution I would come up with. Now to ask everyone around about things. So, this is a puzzle, huh? Are they all displayed on touchscreens like this? Almost all of them, yeah. The objective is laid out in the top right of the screen. For example, this one says, fill the hole in my heart. We got to make the puzzle fit the clue, hit check solution, then put our hand on the screen. Fit the clue? What's that mean? We usually have to figure that part out on our own. So it's just arbitrary? Unfortunately. Some of the answers are a bit... unintuitive. How many guesses do we get? As many as we need, as far as I can tell. I'd say that's pretty generous. There are only so many possible combinations. Worst to worst. Worst comes to worst, we can check a whole bunch of solutions in rapid succession. Diana sure reminds me of a certain someone. If all we gotta do is fill that hole, why don't we try moving the pieces like so? That's not going to work. You won't be able to fill the hole that way. You'll ruin the shape on the right side of the heart. <sighs> I'm the hole filling king. This will be no problem. <sighs> I'm with Tiana. That's not gonna. No, see? It's. Oh, Don. Well, I see what you mean now. Mind putting that back to the way we had it before? Eh, sure. Based on the two unique pieces used to connect the two halves, it looks like it'll be impossible to fill that hole without messing up the heart itself. Is there anything you're not telling us? Er, kinda. You should probably know that we rarely ever get pure logic puzzles. Most of them are riddles, for lack of a better word. That would have been useful to know. I yeah, sorry about that. Whatever, I'd be able to solve this pretty fast. Excuse me, uh, sir. Oh, you talking to me? Now, now. Surely you didn't forget his name, did you, Tiana? Cut me some slack. Lisa told me everyone's name all of, like, once. It's fine. It's ink, by the way. Oh, right. Were your parents, like, hippies? Nope. Straight lace is all hell. Anyway, ink. I have a feeling I might know the answer. Whoa, really? Let's hear it. You said these are often riddle-like, so what if we switch the dark and light tiles? If we make the heart out of the dark tiles, there'd be enough to fill it all the way. There'd still be a few extra dark tiles left over, but I'd say it's worth a try. You know what? That sounds like a good approach. I probably should have mentioned the whole negative space thing. But hey, it looks like they discovered it on their own. Looks like we're back to regular old puzzles. Yeah, those three from earlier were... weird. 
Kind of a shame this is not as easy, though. It is what it is. We just need to play the hand we're dealt. This one seems easy enough. Oh? It's not all that different from some of our earliest puzzles. I assume the solution uses some similar tricks. Right, okay. Also, I hate to have to ask, but... Ray, would you mind having a seat? The rest of us can take care of the puzzle. What's the point? It's gonna hurt just as bad regardless. You mustn't overexert yourself. Listen, I need to get to a hospital, pronto. If doing the puzzles helps me get there even slightly faster, I'm gonna do them. I should have figured there'd be no dissuading you. Just take it easy, please. So, this is just another negative space puzzle, isn't it? Sure looks like it. That's the first thing I thought of as well. It's just one thing I'm still trying to piece together. And what would that be? I think I might know. If you flip the dark and light tiles, you actually end up with four more pieces than you'd need to piece together a heart. Precisely. Ah, that is a good point. What could we do with those extra pieces? Maybe you could throw them all at the bottom, so they're like, less of the way. Just an idea. I don't know. The answers aren't always as complicated as we think. We've definitely been guilty of overthinking some of the earlier puzzles. I guess it's worth a try. Woo. Let's try the negative space thing, then. Draw the heart out of dark tiles instead of light ones. If you're having trouble, it might be easier to try resetting the puzzle and matching the shape bit by bit. And as for the extra pieces, I guess we can try whatever feels right. Gotcha. I'm on it. So... So what you're saying is we should build the heart out of the dark pieces? Yeah, it's worth a try, at least. It lines up with some of the solutions to other puzzles, so I'm pretty confident they are on the right track. Only question left is, what do we do with the extra pieces? I was wondering about that. If I counted right, there'll be four extra pieces if you build a heart out of dark tiles. Maybe you can stick them in the corners or something? Why's that? Because, uh... Because the game's called Exit Corners? I don't know, it just seems like it fits. Eh, we might as well try it. It might even... It might not even matter where you put the remaining four pieces, but that's a good suggestion, Sean. Thanks, but we all know that Sweet Cheeks over here did the heavy lifting for this one. Sean? What's up? If you call me that again, I'll rip out your spine and beat you with it. Oh. Sean probably needed to hear that. So, uh, I guess we should try that dark pieces thing. Tiana was talking about. Indeed. And check solution. Woo. We did it. Go us. It was weird for sure, but I think I could get the hang of these. We made good time on that one. Some are pretty tough though, so watch out for that. Ink cleared his throat. The other contestants gathered around him. So, about those doors. How do you guys want to do this? Let's figure it out ASAP. There are seven of us, so we aren't going to be able to split ourselves up evenly. I guess we'll have one group of three and one group of four. I, um, I don't think we should split up. Why not? Wouldn't that be the fastest way to beat this thing? Yes, but Scent wants us to split up, right? He says he's doing this to give us a chance, but he never tells the whole truth. There may be another reason for wanting to split us up. Isn't that a little paranoid? I mean, I guess it is possible. But it's not like this is some kind of slasher flick while we're all going off on our own. We'd just be splitting into two presumably equal groups. Keep in mind that he's letting us choose who goes in which door. Even if he did have some sinister plan, couldn't it be ruined by having the wrong people go through the wrong doors? We're too short on time to be thinking about what Scent may or may not be planning. We need to take advantage of this opportunity to get ahead. If you think that's what's best, I'm not going to argue. Ink winced. After a slight pause, he continued. So, uh, any preferences? Anyone? I'm just gonna get this out of the way now. I'm not going anywhere with Tiana. That's fine by me. Uh, that was easy, I guess. What next? I'd like to go with Ray. 
He only recently lost his arm, and I think I ought to keep an eye on him. He can't overexert himself, and I'm the only one who's qualified to help him if things take a turn for the worst. Good idea. Anyone else? I'd like to go with Ray too. I'm worried about him. Me too. Gee, aren't you popular? You don't all need to come with me. I'll be fine. Okay, so if the three of you go with Ray, that leaves Sean, Tiana, and I together. I don't like that. Sean and I just got here. How are we supposed to keep up with the rest of you if you have a numbers advantage? This isn't a competition, you know. Besides, Inca's our strongest puzzle solver, so the two groups won't have as great a skill disparity as you think. Whoa, little Ink over here is your best puzzle solver? Not bad, buddy. Not bad. Ink couldn't help but smile with a compliment. He is. If only he could split himself in two. Is that good, huh? Let's see. Does it say anywhere in the rules that we need to stick with these teams forever? We haven't exactly been handed a rule book, so no, I guess not. How about this then? We'll make two teams of three, then Ink can act as a wild card. He can go back and forth between the two groups as needed. That sounds reasonable. Excellent thinking, Sean. Why, thank you. So, what do you say, bud? Think you're up for it? I could handle that, yeah. I'd be able to relay messages between the two groups, too. If this doesn't end up working out, we can switch the teams around later. Right. Now all we need to do is make two teams of three. I think we were pretty close. Currently, it's the four of us original contestants in one group, and Sean and Tiana in the other. Since Ray sure isn't coming with me, and since Beth said that she wants to stick with Ray, that means that either you or Lisa will need to jump ship and come with us. I am... Um, I'd rather go with... Listen, you don't need to pretend that you like me, okay? I know when I'm unwelcome. So, sorry, I didn't mean it like that. The only thing that matters is getting out of here alive. I don't know what Ray told you about me, and honestly, I don't care. But one of you needs to buck up and come with Sean and me. I'll do it. I'll tag along with you. Ah, I appreciate it. I know it must be hard to split up after you've gotten all buddy-buddy with each other. Well, since you asked so nicely... Hey, that's perfect. I was just about to suggest that Lisa come with us. Gee, what a shocker. Why doesn't Aether tag along with me too? Hmm, nothing motivates me more than being surrounded by beautiful honeys. Yo, Ink, am I right or am I right? That's a great idea and you know it. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. Oh, you're no fun. Lisa, if this guy tries to pull anything, let me know, okay? I'd be more than happy to punch this wannabe playboy square in the nose. Hey now, I was quit. I was kidding, girl. Kidding. And what's this about being a wannabe playboy? I'm a bona fide Casanova. I've hooked up with tons of girls. Tons. Probably like a thousand. Literally one thousand. There ain't a girl on campus who doesn't know me. Funny. I've never heard of you before. Yeah, that's cause uh... You sound very sexually insecure, you know that. Hey, that was mean. The other contestants laughed. Sean wasn't altogether lying. He was, in fact, popular with the ladies. But seeing Aether deflate his ego was strangely satisfying to Ink. The mood is certainly a bit lighter now that Sean's around. Some laughter will probably do us good. It's easy to forget that one of us, um... Ink instinctively glanced at Ray, the only contestant who hadn't shared in the laughter. His remaining fist was clenched, shaking. Can we just fucking go already? Silence. Ray's outburst had the whole room staring at him. We've decided on teams. Can we leave now? You think I want to just stand here and watch the rest of you chum around? Sean had gone from bumbling to serious in a heartbeat. He approached Ray calmly. Big door then. Once that's decided, we can split up. Sint said that the blue door was more challenging, right? Well, that's what he claims. He could be lying. I don't know. Black? We'll take the black door. That's just like you, taking the easy road. Fuck off. The dude with one arm's allowed to pick the easy road if he wants. Besides, you're one who mess you're one who always messes up the easy stuff. Maybe it's better you leave it to me. Forgetting to make checks isn't the same as not even bothering to check if Okay, fine. I'll take the fucking blue door. Happy? Hm. <laughs> oh, I don't actually care. Too late. You think I'm gonna let you shit talk me like this? Blue door it is. Everyone okay with that? 
Ink scanned the room, which was eerily quiet. No one appeared to have any reservations. So, Beth, Aether, and Ray will go into the blue door, while Lisa, Sean, and Tiana will go into the black one. Are we all settled then? Don't you still need to pick a door, Ink? That's right. You haven't told us where you'll be going, big man. That's probably because I haven't actually decided yet. Hurry up. You can always switch later. Okay then, I choose... <sighs> Ink refuses to listen. The black door. Standings. Okay. Aether's full trust. Beth. Lisa's low. Paranoia. Gone. And... There's two chapters.